Welcome to the video for the membrane regulator replacement for the Compresso E-Series. The tools you will need will be an awl or a screwdriver and an angled cotter pin puller. And we're going to start off by taking a close-up look at the regulator. As you may notice on the E-Series, it sits to the lower corner of the machine and does not allow us to just twist it off. So we're going to have to make some room in there in order to remove it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove the connecting tube that connects to the top of the regulator. This is held in place by a hairpin clip that you're going to use your pin puller to remove. Once the pin's removed, you can disconnect the water line that goes into the top of the regulator. Next, we're going to partially remove the regulator and the water pump. This is done by placing two fingers on the opposite side of the water pump arm and gently pulling towards you until you feel a pop. This will be the rubber housing that holds the pump into place. And as you can see by the picture in the lower left hand corner, you're going to want to pull until you get about half of that rubber lip removed. This will give you the space in order to twist off the membrane regulator. Now you don't want to pull too hard to completely remove the rubber housing from the lip in the frame. You want to make sure that it's easy enough to put back in once you're done replacing the regulator. With the regulator removed, you'll be able to notice the o-ring that sits inside the regulator as well as a larger o-ring that sits in the water pump arm. We highly recommend changing the o-rings during this repair as you'll have access to the spaces needed, especially considering that any water that the machine is going to intake is going to be passing through these o-rings. Also be sure to remove the o-ring out of the regulator and place on the hose to make it easier on yourself to reconnect. Now we can replace the membrane regulator by twisting clockwise and threading it back onto the pump arm. Keep twisting until it becomes hard to turn, at which point you want to make sure that it's in a proper position to reconnect the hose above it. Before we push the water pump and the regulator back into the machine, we're going to reconnect the hose here as you have more space to work with. You're going to place your o-ring on the end of the hose reinsert into the top of the regulator and then replace the hairpin clip to secure into place. As you may have noticed earlier in the video, I actually dropped this hairpin clip inside the machine. It's very handy to have a long armed magnet in order to fish out any hardware that you may drop into the machine. And finally, we're going to put the pump and the regulator back into their positions. This is done by tucking the rubber lip back into its spot on the frame. This is where you can use your awl or a screwdriver in order to push the lip down and into the plastic mold where it sits. This piece of rubber acts as a holder for the pump and it also acts as a shock absorber for when the pump turns on. If anything is touching the plastic frame, it will result in a very loud noise when the pump activates. So again, you just want to go through the process of pushing down on the rubber and pushing on the back side in order to get it back into that plastic housing. With that rubber lip now tucked back in and completely secure, we have completed the replacement process for the membrane regulator. As always, thank you very much for watching our video. We hope it's been a great help to your repair.